So let's talk about basal cell cancers, because basal cell cancers represent more cancers than all the other cancers combined. It's huge. Now it's actually a good thing because even though it is a cancer, it has the lowest chance of spreading internally and killing you or metastasizing. Now these cancers can get very locally destructive and so they can take out a cheek, a nose, an ear, they can really cause a lot of damage. So we want to respect them and we want to get them gone as soon as possible. And even though they can spread internally and cause big problems, it is extremely unlikely unless you ignore them and they get very big over years and years. Now, why do you get basal cell cancers? And the real reason is, is it's a combination of sun exposure over time with your individual genetics. So the more sun exposure you have, the more damage in your DNA you will accumulate. And as you get older and older and older, that damage will eventually show. And it might show in premature aging, or it might show in precancers, or it might show in cancers like basal cells or squamous cells developing. So if we can limit our amount of sun exposure so that it doesn't accumulate over the years, that will help. Now your genetics. The lighter your skin is, the more prone it is to damage from the sun. Now you can't really do a lot about your genetics, but you can certainly be aware of it and you can certainly take the appropriate precautions of staying out of the midday sun, using appropriate sunscreens and sun protective clothing. Now, let's say that you have a basal cell cancer. How do you treat it? Well, there's a couple of different modalities that we use and we have videos on all of these. We do something called an E, D, and C for the very superficial forms of these cancers. We do something called an excision when the cancer starts to have depth and it's not in an area of high cosmetic importance. We do Mohs micrographic surgery if the cancer is in an area of high cosmetic importance. And we can also do superficial radiation therapy basically anywhere on the body if you do not want to have a surgical procedure performed. Now we have videos on all those different procedures and when it's appropriate and not as appropriate to use that procedure. So please look at those and then ask your local dermatologist any questions that you might have. Now once you've had one skin cancer, you're much more prone to have more. Once you've had one non-melanoma skin cancer, your chances of getting another non-melanoma skin cancer are about 50%. If you've had two or more, then your chances of getting another skin cancer are about 90%. So please, visit your local dermatologist regularly. Please notice anything that's new or changing or growing and come in right away to be seen.